guys. My bedside lights decided to stop working. It's one of these touch me lights that you just touch to turn it on and off. I've done the obvious thing. I've changed the bulb, made no difference. I've checked the fuse in the plug, made no difference. So I'm guessing the internal electrics has broken. So I thought it'd be an excuse to take it apart and see what's inside it. First thing I'm going to do is chop off the cable because I'm not going to try and repair it. I've already bought a new one. So we'll take this so it's a little bit easier to see. Bottom's come off already, that's handy. Big metal plate there, which you wouldn't get in a normal lamp. Something to do with the capacitance to make the light turn on and off. So what have we got inside? Got the cable coming in. Connected the wires together and then put a bit of shrink wrap over it so uh, I can't easily see which wire does what. And we've got a little box of goodies, which is obviously the, well, it actually says it on there, although you won't be able to see it. It says touch lighting control. I won't attempt to pronounce the uh, Chinese factory that it comes from. Let's see if we can get this shrink wrap off. Okay, so looking at that fairly simple. The blue and brown coming in from the cable are connected to the blue and brown going into the box. So that's nice and logical. wonder if I can just zoom in on that a little bit. So I'll just say that again. Incoming cable, which I've chopped off, blue and brown, goes to the there you go, blue and brown into the touch lighting control. And then coming out of there, I've got a red wire which is going to the blue, going up to the light, and a yellow wire which is connected to the um, outside frame. So that's where it's going to... I would have said that was earth normally, but um, it must be using the capacitance to operate the switch. Now that's, that's also confirming another thing I checked with a meter before I did all this. The brown which I would call the live wire, so it's going into there, it's also carrying straight on up to the two contacts. And when I checked with my meter I actually had a continuous path from there all the way through to the live on the plug which surprised me because I would have thought the switch would have been on the live side the live side not the neutral side so you probably didn't even see that I was tapping the um, the live contact on the plug those of you who come from somewhere other than Britain may not recognize the plug that's a British plug earth neutral live as we call them I pretty sure in some countries they call live the hot wire, but never mind. Anyway, it, when I checked with my meter, 
continuous circuit from there to the brown wire there and all the way up to there and that surprised me because I always thought the switch should be on the live side not on the return or neutral right I'll just have a quick review check that I haven't missed too much on the video there because I keep looking at the screen there and seeing that I'm going out the screen now that I've zoomed in right I gave those connectors a little tug and they came off relatively easily off two of them anyway so potentially that may have been my problem uh, why it stopped working they may have been loose connections but so I'm not trying to repair this I want to see what it is now so might be worth trying to take this little box apart just to see how it works um, it's actually got the circuit on the outside let's see if I can zoom in on that right I'm not sure if we can quite read it now I might have to do a still photo uh, touch lighting control power supply lamp and touch plate and that's the yellow wire red wire to the lamp and the common brown wire so I was surprised about that I would have thought the brown would have been the switched one and blue okay so what I might do is cut that off and take it apart just to see if there's anything in there to look at which I doubt Right, well that was quite surprising. I expected this to be sealed in glue or something, but an old faithful screwdriver just jammed it in there and it's popped apart. And that's what we got inside. A relatively complicated bit of circuitry. like a toroid coil capacitor no doubt that's a no, it's got three legs so it's either a power regulator or a transistor one two a couple of uh, capacitors that looks like one of our typical uh, encapsulated circuit boards it's got one two three four five six legs on it oh, that's the other side of it nothing I'm going to be playing with but uh, that's what's inside the box let's go back to zoom so there you go wasn't that exciting Power in, blue and brown, the red wire went to the light and the yellow wire was the touch plate. Might be worth trying to see if we can get it working at something less than 250 volts which is what the British voltage is, but I'm sure we could make one easier. But there you go, that was what was inside the touch light.